What's up, y'all? Mad Death Gaming coming back at y'all with another video. And that video is going to be for people who do not know how to hook up a PC to the Act Games. Guess what? That's what I'm going to show y'all how to do today. All right? It's going to be about the PC hooking it up to the Act Games and getting everything taken care of in the Act Games. Now, this video is not going to be for everybody. Uh, if you already know how to do this, guess what? You know, go ahead and close it out or, you know, just sit here for a little bit and chill with me. You know what I mean? Y'all can do that for a little bit, right? Can you do that for a little bit? A little bit? No, I'm playing. But, uh, you know, if y'all can do it, and then plus you give me a view too, so that's what's up. So, uh, but that's what I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do today. Again, the video is not gonna be for everybody, it's just gonna be for the newbies, you know, on how to hook the PC up, and that's gonna be about it. So, I'm gonna be rolling this intro. Alright y'all, got two computers here so I wanted to show you um, what you can do when you hook up the Act Games to it. So um, you're going to have a computer that just has, so this one right here, as you see, it doesn't have a video card in it. Um, and then it has the three connections here. Now sometimes you might have just two. You might have VGA, DVI, and HDMI, or you might have a, a display port as well. Um, but this one over here, it has the two at the top, which is the onboard right here. And then you also have the, um, this is a 1050 uh, Ti uh, that's in this one here. So you got DVI, you got display port, and then you got the HDMI. So you can come out different ways on how you can do this. So I wanted to try to explain it on, if you didn't have uh, a video card in it and you wanted to try to get the two monitors working, this is only gonna be the two monitors set up you can do the three monitor setup if you like. Uh, but again, as uh, long as you have, uh, so this is the first one. This is just the motherboard right here. So if you have two connections on your motherboard here, you can actually run it. And, you know, you are going to have to go, uh, you can go HDMI into the Act Games by doing that. You can actually go DVI into the Act Games, which is DVI to HDMI cable. You can go VGI, get a converter here, and go from VGA to HDMI. Uh, you can do that too. You will have to have uh, sound uh, on that though, so you will have to get your own sound sometimes when it comes through that. When you go through the, the uh, when you go through these right here, uh, you will have to get your own sound. But if you go through HDMI, you will get the sound out of there, no problem. Okay. So I wanted to show you that that's the <laughs> connections here, and then you can actually go from you can go DVI into the uh, from here into the at games. And then you can go from here, HDMI, uh, into the um, Rachel board on there. So you can do that if you like. So that's what you can do there. Same thing over here. You can go uh, HDMI up, DVI, uh, uh, display port, all the way up to the HD, uh, to the at games if you want to, and then come back around. So DVI, you can do that. You can also use the top ones here if you want. Uh, so I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to show you all what I'm going to do to hook everything up. And go from there but I just wanted to show you all the two different computers that you could probably have uh, you know when you're trying to do something like this you don't need a really uh, like a good real powerful computer uh, to actually do FX3 and, and all that stuff I would say at least the i3 and up uh, if you get that and then if you get a decent uh, if it has like a decent video card kind of like these right here if it has HDMI and all that stuff on it you can actually get away with that uh, if you wanted to now, if you want to get all the nice and power, nice graphics and all of that, then I would say go ahead and get a, um, you know, at least uh, you can get like a 10, what is it, uh, 1030, 1030 and up. You can actually get some other ones too that actually work for here too. So you don't have to get the high powerful one if you just, you know, playing some pinball and that's it. Uh, but if you're playing other stuff, I would say go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. This is my main uh, system here that I'm going to hook up with. I still have my other one in the toy shop, but I just wanted to show y'all that. And now I'm going to run the cables uh, up there, and I'm going to show y'all how to do that, all right? All right, then. See y'all here in a minute. All right, y'all. So there it is. There's the cable coming out. So you already know here's the USB going in. You can do a Bluetooth if you like. Uh, but this is the cable going from here all the way into the computer. And then you're going to have the, the HDMI going out to the computer. So I'm about to show you that now. The VBS board. You got it here. Uh, you know, you got your HDMI coming out of here, going out. It's going to be going into the computer. Here it is. Going to travel it down. I'm just, I have it like this just so I can show y'all. Uh, have it down, coming out, and then it's going 
see I'm gonna show you how you can actually use the top one as well as well as the video card down at the bottom to give you more if you have different screens and stuff like that because uh, you can use it if you want uh, but I'm, this is just gonna be I'm gonna use the bottom one this is gonna be the one from the at games going all the way up into the thing there going all the way up and then this one's coming out of the V uh, the Rachel board uh, going right into the Rachel board and then you got the USB coming out of there right into the USB port and then you go from there and then see you got more ports you got VGA if you want to you get display port if you want to and then you got your DVI if you want to go out to add more monitors stuff like that so that's what I'm gonna do right now but I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna show you all what what it looks like when I do it all right so that's what you do and you got everything all hooked up and if you didn't have the board uh, if you didn't have the Rachel board then you would just use you know the HDMI coming out of there right into the uh, you know right into your video card or whichever or the onboard video whatever you want to do and then you'd be set all right so I'm about to show you all that right now and here we go all right y'all what's up so I got the uh, at games on I got my computer on uh, now, like I said, it's regular just the at game system, everything that has on there. And then now I'm going to switch this over. So when you get the computer hooked up, you're going to go over to, actually you don't even have to do that. You can actually go over it in the settings if you want to, but, uh, you, or you can just hit the little switcher right here, the channel switcher. So I'm just going to hit that channel switcher real quick. And then it's going to say OTG main display. And then normally you want 90 degrees. And then you just hit OK on that. And it will switch over like this to your PC, right? Now I already have mine on my PC, uh, and I'll show you here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button at the top to switch it over on the uh, Rachel board. And we'll see if it switches back over like it should be here in a minute, so we'll see. All right, so it switched over. There you go. So I switched my thing back over. There you go. So now uh, I'll just show you. So normally, uh, if you go over here and you display settings, you can have your depends on how you want it. You can have it on top if you want to. Uh, I just have it 90 degrees. This one right here, uh, 1080, 1920 on the main display, and then the other one is the normal. Uh, 19, uh, 20 by 1080. So the 1080p, y'all know what's going on there. But we close that out. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my Droid key. And you don't have to do Droid key. The the controls will, uh, like if you have a control panel, it will detect as an Xbox controller. You don't have to do that. I just I just like doing that. Um, so you can do that and set up all your joys. Uh, set up all what you want to have there. If you want to have your stick move back and forth, you can do that. I got that set as the plunger, all of that, okay? If you need to know how to do that, just let me know. Uh, all you have to do is email me at, you know, uh, maddadsgaming at gmail.com, all right? But I'm gonna just go ahead, go down there. I'm gonna just show y'all on FX3 real quick. I'm not gonna pull up Pinball Emporium or anything like that. I just wanna show you how to just get this set up real quick first. Now I have my screensaver as all the tables, as you can see up there. And there's, uh, it's gonna come up connect now I do have my uh, buttons as I have my uh, back button as the enter button and I got the control you can go through controls and go through all this if you want to but I'm just gonna go in single player real quick so I can show you what this is all about and in my background I had to do the DMD now DMD you have to come up to cabinet mode hit on that and it give you a code I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna show the code uh, but uh, if you hit on that, it asks you for the code. As long as you get that from uh, Zen Studios, as long as you get that from them, just email them. They'll send you a code for cabinet mode. If you show them what's going on, show them pictures of what you're trying to do it for, you do that, right? And then now you can go through uh, the modes. So I'm going to just hit that right there. There's my collection, as you can see at the top there. That's how I did my uh, DMD. 
And I have the actual DMV, I have it, the full actual thing here. <laughs> so there's normally speakers right here on these images, but I filled it all the way up. So I'll play a game and something right quick so I can show you, but there it is, just come down. It's gonna have all the things there. Rats Park, all that stuff, right? So if I want to play one, I just hit it Jurassic to it. Park, Pinball Mayhem. Go ahead and play now. And hot seat. I'll say play this right quick. Okay, folks. Top brass on sending in on our civilians. This park will be the greatest idea of the century. There you go. That's the DMP, so I'm going to go ahead. All right. All right, so let me see if I can get that closer for y'all. All right, we'll go ahead and play it then. There, let me just get out of here. Game pause. I'm gonna just exit that. Single player and hot. I'm just gonna keep it. Make sure that's all the way up in my back. Okay. I'm gonna back out. My collection. Let's see. Jaws. Let's play some Jaws, right? Single player and hot seat. Back in the day, we didn't have all this fancy stuff. Ah, right, here we go. That's what? Get it! That is some good aiming, Chief. I'm gonna just go throughout. I'll do something like uh, let me exit back out. Single player and hot seat. Let me My back out of here. Back to the future. Back to the future. Single player and hot seat. I got some guys. Look at Hollywood Polo in there. Don't say a word. 
Jason Dock. Don't tell me anything. Good views, man. I like that view like that. Oh, man, I missed that. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. I need you to get back to the year 1985. Time machine? I haven't invented any time machine. Doc! Thank you. 